Well, what's up to all my YouTubers out there? This is Fast Jimmy Seventy One. I'm here to do a how-to video. Uh, I gotten a couple responses uh, that want to know how to apply your spark plug wires and uh, run cables and wires and stuff like that. Um, well, uh, I'm gonna show you a little demonstration uh, on how I do it. Sometimes the the majority of the time I usually buy uh, the distributor cap with the wires already assembled to it, uh, where all I would have to do is just uh, make a small hole for the distributor to sit in, and apply uh, just drill out my holes for uh, my wires to run through, and just add a little glue and let it sit. And that's really it but when you don't have all that stuff uh, on hand and you want to do it uh, that's the easy way of doing it uh, the hard way and where it gets a little bit technical and and that's where you you're you're customizing and your your abilities of of your know-how um, kicks in that's that's uh, that's where it kicks in um, here I have uh, a motor that uh, is going to be my 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 uh, my guinea pig. Uh, but before I start on this, this is one of the motors uh, that I have on hand. See, this is already uh, in a, this piece is already uh, got the wires hooked up to it. So I ordered that. Uh, you can get those through uh, master uh, model masters. Or detail masters that you can order the, the the distributor cap with the wires already assembled to them. Uh, they're a little expensive. They're about 10, 10 15 bucks. Uh, they're really expensive. They're not cheap. Uh, but when you don't want to go down that route, you know this is the way to go. Um, but this was the motor that I was going to put in the Monte Carlo. Um, but since the Monte Carlo is no longer around, uh, this is one of my spare motors. So this will probably go into a, another project, who knows, all depends on how I feel if I want to put that motor into another model. But um, when you don't have that on hand and you want to do it the hard way, uh, you have uh, this sewing, sewing, wire, uh, sewing string, uh, it comes in assorted colors, it got green, red, blue, uh, white. I know you're not going to use pink, but the majority you will use yellow. They got some gray, got some black, which you'll be using. Uh, it all depends on what you want to use. Or you can use uh, real thin telephone wire. Uh, usually the telephone wire, if you cut it open, it usually has real thin different colored wires. You can use that too. Um, you will need a Sharpie marker to make your reference uh, uh, points to where you're going to make your holes a uh, pair of tweezers doesn't really matter what size or what type of tweezers you will be using and just just pair of tweezers uh, then you would also need uh, a pin vise these are real good to have in your arsenal of uh, building supplies for your models uh, pin vise is it's uh, it's a hand uh, drilling mechanism that you use to make uh, your holes. This is a tiny little bit right here. These are very fragile. You cannot uh, apply too much force on these bits because they will break. Uh, you just, what you do is you just hook it on. Well, not hook it, but screw it on like right here. And it just come off. This is the drill bit. And then you just insert it. It's got a little point in there. It's got two sides, one for the big side, for the big bits, and one for the small bits. Uh, you got to be very careful when you're putting these in because they are fragile. Then once you put it in the slot, just tighten it, and that's it. And you get yourself a little hand drill. Now, um, this is pretty expensive, too. This, this, uh, this, uh, this cost me, uh, if I'm not mistaken, $16 for this the little uh, uh, pin vise and it comes in, in a little vi a little vial of of uh, different size uh, bits so 
what you would use mainly for your holes for your 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 spark plug cables would be the smallest bit in your set okay and then I, I went ahead and you would take your your engine block and you would make your reference dots to where you're gonna position your spark plug cables to go into okay then very carefully line up the pin with your reference hole and then start to drill so it goes all the way through you'll start to see you know plastic uh, shavings come out and then see it's already went through then you take your next one very slow line it up start turning very slow don't apply any force to it just let it go and as you can see you have plastic coming along with it and that's it it's easy as that make sure it goes on all the way don't apply any force so it goes in once you got it all the way through pull it out in reverse <clears throat> and that's it and so on and so on you got your four here because it's an eight cylinder so you got four spark plug cables going through on this side and then you make your reference points on where you're going to put them <coughs> it has to be above above or in between your manifold okay when you check your manifold and you see your position that you have your little slots then you can make your reference holes or you know more or less where they're supposed to go okay but you make four and make sure that they're spaced out don't put them together make sure that they're spaced out now um, for your distributor since <coughs> your, your distributor is uh, is already got the points on the top I know you can barely see this but if you would if you like you want to go the extra mile you can sand this down a little bit with some sandpaper make some tiny little reference points and just drill very carefully you know your holes or you can just add a little dab of glue on each point and just connect your your wires very carefully let it dry I would prefer that you would glue the wires onto the distributor before you put them on the car so it's always better to <coughs> excuse me uh, glue on your your spark plug wires onto the distributor let it sit for a couple of you know maybe 15 20 minutes I don't know depending on how quick you want to you start you want to work on it um, but let it sit till you see that it's not gonna come off then you start taking your your plot your your tweezers and start positioning your tweet your your wires or your your little strings into the holes with a little glue let it sit and there you go and you got your your spark plug cables and your wires well that's uh that's a little demonstration on on this um hope you 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 enjoyed that but also guys I have a little surprise, and I know that uh, uh, Crazy Man and uh, Bowtie Bad Boy 33 and Godfather, uh, I know you, you guys uh, did, uh, you got your, your own versions of your 66 Chevelle station wagon. Well, guess what? <laughs> I got one too. <laughs> picked it up today so uh, this is gonna be fully custom um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some radical stuff to this I I'm, I really don't know what it is but I will be doing some radical stuff to this um, I don't know if I'm gonna be using those decals but um, it's not guarantee you it's not gonna look like what you see on the box um, so we'll see and those guys will see in, your, in my update videos on how this is coming out um I w i've been looking for this model ever since these guys came out with yours i've been looking for one for myself uh, because i went to the the big lots out here in chicago and for some reason 
Uh, their shipments are totally different than yours. So I had to buy this at 16 hours. So um, that that's that's enough with that. But um, this is uh, Fast Jimmy 71 signing off. And to all my homies out there, and you know who you are. Uh, well, time to let you go. So peace, and you know it. Chicken grease. Laters.